Hi. More and more people seem to be buying old scopes, and uh, I've been buying them for a while. Uh, you've probably noticed scopes are becoming bigger and bigger, and um, I mean, that's okay. Ma major magnification is fun. Uh, sometimes they look dramatic, like it looks like the scope is kind of holding up the rifle like a, like a Zeppelin or something like that. Uh, so this is a Lyman All-American. Uh, great optics. Um, they still had the post reticle, which I really like, and a lot of people like the post reticle. Uh, too bad I can't show it to you. I don't know how to do that, but you could look on the web. Um, I'm not sure why they discontinued the post reticle. Anyhow, uh, so why am I showing you this old scope? Um, I'm, a few times it's happened on the range that the guys install an old scope or a used scope, even a, a newer one, and they're, they're firing rounds and they can't get on target and, and uh, lots of troubles and frustration and they think the scope is broken. Uh, sometimes they are, whether they're new or, or old, things go wrong with scopes like anything else, but um, so I was, uh, I remember sitting with a guy once, he had a weaver and he just couldn't get on the paper uh, almost at any distance. So then I thought, how do we get the reticle in the center? And I'm sure lots of people have figured this out. So all you do is uh, take your turret caps off, turn the adjustment screw all the way one direction, doesn't matter which direction, and then stop, and then turn it back and keep track of how many turns you go from one side of, of the um, adjustment range all the way to the other. So if it's 50 turns, for example, um, to go from all the way in to all the way out, then you know that turn it back in 25 and the windage will be correct. And then do the same for elevation. So turn it all the way in, uh, then you reach a stop. And it's not, it's not usually a mechanical stop. You don't hit a hard surface. So don't overturn it because you could damage the, the uh, device inside. But stop and then go back the whole other way and keep track of how many turns. And we did this. So I think it was, you know, it wasn't 50 turns. Anyway, whatever it was, uh, we went all the way one way, then divided that in two. That got us centered for windage, and then we did the same for elevation. Um, so I, I mean, this is the All-American and... I happen to do this with this scope, which is a newer Swarovski, and it works great. So a really short video. I hope I explained it in an intelligible way, um, but that saves you a lot of trouble. And um, that reminds me, I should make a video on how to sight in a rifle with like one shot, so you don't have all this uh, ammo going down range. I'll do that soon. It's uh, it's cool if you don't know it already. Anyhow, thanks for watching.